Okay, this video is to clarify how uh, how to practice, like how to clip stuff and 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 kind of review it and kind of and know what your strategy is. So every time you boot up the game, okay, before you even boot the game up, you're going to want to in your mind make sure you very clearly understand this principle. You're going to in your mind say, okay, this playthrough. I am going to do a specific technique, and this is the technique that you're going to do. You're going to find a server. Like a, it needs to be like a Koth server, or a High Tower server, or PLR server, or just something where everybody isn't grouped up on like the cart or something like that, so that you can get more like one-on-one -on -one interactions. And you're going to find one person. So let's join this server here. You're going to find one person. And um, you're going to target them. Okay, so now we're in game here, and uh, we have Pickle Knots here, who's in the, who's in my server. And I would I would use this loadout. I would join the server and I would use this loadout. You don't have to use a red tape recorder, but you have to use stock pistol, you have to use stock knife, and you have to use your stock dr, stock or dr here. You don't have to use dr. You can use stock too and DR, but I recommend DR because it allows you to like, you can play more aggressively with the slowdown. And you have, uh, you can practice your inveiglement here with your, uh, with your pistol here, like I've been talking about if you read the how to get started section, um, about how pistols, um, and just playing kind of like withdrawing yourself from the situation and not just running at them from a mile away with your knife out. Um, you're gonna practice um, that play style here in this playthrough. So let's let's kind of refresh ourselves here. I booted up the game. I have my instant replay program open that allows me to clip things, and uh, I'm able to uh, to find one person. And I'm able to find one person. And I'm, I'm able to find one person, and I'm able to uh, to target that person. Somebody who I don't understand and can't stab and uh, it can be either or you can you can just not understand how they're moving uh, or you can understand how they're moving like you'll know their level and everything but you just can't stab them the importance of of, of, of clipping even that type of person is um, that you can review that uh, that those clips and you can work out like the actual correct way to go for the stab and the best angle to go for it and um, with that, with that n knowledge that you gained through reviewing that clip, you'll be able to go into the fight next time against somebody who is that level or move similar to that. And you'll know the right angle and you'll have the right tools. And that wouldn't have happened otherwise. You wouldn't have learned that information if you hadn't have clipped and targeted that one person who you couldn't, who you couldn't exploit. And uh, on the flip side, people you don't understand... Um, I feel like that's like the most beneficial ones to learn, uh, to, to try to find out somebody who you don't understand what level they are, and uh, you're trying to figure that out. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to force as many encounters in you, as you can. So let's say Pickle here is a man who is a, who's a guy. Well, he is a guy. And uh, I, want to, I want to get a clip on him, right? So he doesn't even have to be fighting me. He can be over there fighting a soldier, and I can see him fighting someone, and he's doing his, his movement, and I'm like, wow, he's like moving, like, he's keeping to himself, and he's like letting them pass, like, what's up with that? So you're looking for those, those, those fragments in his movement, and you're, and you're going to clip that. Even though you're not fighting him, even though you don't successfully stab them, again, you don't have to clip stabs only. Um, you're probably not actually going to stab these people, actually. Um, I have about 20, 20 unlisted videos on YouTube where I did this exact same thing. I just, I joined a server and I clipped one person. I clipped that one person until I got a stab on them or until I had to leave or until they left. Like literally some of them are like five minutes long and it's just like, uh, like literally 75 second clips of them moving. And um, me and CRD would go over that, and he would tell me what's going on, and uh, I would look over them by myself as well, uh, and and that's that's how I got 
uh, uh, to be as consistent as I am right now, which is what you want with circle strafing, really, is you want to be consistent, and you want to, and you want to know, you want to have, like, you're building up your knowledge, and you're building up your ability by ironing out these things that you don't understand. So the, the thing, what's fundamentally happening with this technique is you're finding your weak points. You're finding why you're bad, right? You're pinpointing exactly why you suck. And you're, and you are, you're literally ironing them out one by one, like little bumps uh, in a very smooth piece of glass. And eventually you will be consistent in the fact that you are able to in the fact that you are able to have all this built up knowledge because you will have ironed out all your mistakes i mean theoretically you, you i'm still learning myself on that even i would benefit from doing this as well but um anyway so let's go back to the technique i'm going to find someone and i'm going to shoot them you're going to primarily shoot them you're not going to go for stabs you might get a stab on them, like a stair stab or something, but you're going to primarily shoot them, even if that means killing them, right? And you're going to clip that. You're going to clip that. You're going to clip that, and you're going to add that to your folder. Okay? Now when I've amassed about, say, 20 clips, you keep, you keep going, right? You keep going until they leave or you leave. And you just try to amass a collection of clips on them right even if it's again I have five minute videos of just one guy literally me fighting one guy right so that's what you're you're going for here is you're going for a collection and again I you don't have don't really go for stabs just just try to stay in, in that in the range in the stab range and you go for uh, and you go for stuff like that you go for uh, what I mean by that is you go for uh, you go for quick stabs after shooting them. Like, you'll be shooting them, shoot, 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 shoot. And then you go for a little quick stab. And uh, that'll reveal a lot about that person's movement and uh, how you can stab them. And uh, yeah, and that's just basically what you have to do. After you've amassed the clips, you can, this is what you should do. Um, actually, this is really what you have to do. Uh, if you want help from somebody else, you have to uh, amass them all into a clump and uh, upload them on YouTube. So you just throw them all in an editor, and uh, you just upload them on YouTube, really. And um, and you and you post them in the clips channel, and you ping me, and you make it known, right? And you and you and you give your you don't have to give your hypothesis for every situation, but you can you can give your theories. You can be like, okay, I think this guy. Moves like this because he's in a corner. I think that he's level four. I think that that he is level two in his melee, but he's level one on his gun on his on his gun. But he switches level to be level four on his uh, on his uh, on his secondary. And then you're gonna put that all. It's gonna be like literally a sentence. You're gonna be like this pyro is level four on gun. Level 4 on shotgun, and uh, level 1 on flamethrower. And there's melee, I didn't get it. And then you're going to post that in the ch in the clips channel. And we're going to work out what what is going on, what level he is. And you guys right now are like finding people, right? You're in pubs, and you're clipping, and you, you encounter that person, right? And the one time you remember that you have a clipping software you clip that, right? And so I know, now I have one example of a guy in a corner who just dropped down from a higher area. So it's like physically impossible to understand what his level is because you have 40 other ulterior factors going on and it's the only clip you have of that guy, right? <clears throat> you negate that by making the entire purpose of the time you are on Team Fortress 2 clipping one guy one guy you find one guy and you clip him one guy you don't understand one guy you can't stab remember that right so this is what you have to do right you have to set a schedule you need to literally you don't have to set a schedule so much as you have to make sure that the purpose of your gameplay 
period. The purpose of your play session, right? You're gonna make this make this a habit, and it's gonna be a very healthy habit. You're going to make it a habit. What the hell? You're gonna make it a habit of saying, okay, I'm feeling like today I'm gonna open up Team Fortress 2, and I'm gonna I'm gonna clip clip someone I don't understand. And not only does it give you like kind of a sense of purpose, really, but it's ironing out why you don't understand the game. It's it's just the best way to improve. Like CRD, uh, I don't think anybody has. I don't think he's told anybody this, but like if we look at his hours, like on Team Fortress Two, he has five thousand hours. But if we look at his stats, he has one thousand five hundred on spot. He didn't open the game and idle for 3,000 hours. He opened the game and looked at his demos for 2,000 hours. He literally reviewed demos for 2,000 hours. He's told me. He has more hours reviewing his demos, trying to understand what's going on with the game, than he does actually have time in-game. That's how he was able to make the system, and that's how he was able to become so consistent. And that's what you have to do. That's what you have to do. You just have to make it a habit of of doing that. You just have to get in games, find a person, and target. That's what you have to do. And uh, that about sums it up. So just get in game, find someone, and clip it, and upload it on YouTube, and say, and say what level they are, and say what you think. Just, uh, just do that. It's so simple. Like, literally... 10, 20, 20 times if you do this, you'll become so much better. Like, if you just do this 20 times, I swear to God, you'll become better. I swear to God. You'll have a deeper understanding of the levels because we'll iron out things that you don't understand. And I'll, I'll be able to pinpoint key habits that people do on certain levels. And, um, yeah. I hope this video was uh, helpful. Just do what it says and uh, you'll improve. I swear to God. It's what I did. That's how I got my understanding of circle strafing. Help from a mentor helps greatly. So do not waste me and Pickle's time, please. Do this right and, uh, and you'll improve.